Images shocking to the eye. Kids manning rocket launchers and holding military weapons and claims of children on the front lines as Hamas rushes them into combat. All revelations brought to the forefront in reports from the Israeli Defense Forces. As Israel's war against Hamas rages on, a startling twist is emerging. Israeli military officials say 170 kids are fighting alongside Hamas, some being forced onto battlefields to assess damage afterwards. Children deliver messages and ammunition, while terrorists hide in shelters, according to the IDF. Israel says children are taught in schools, youth movements, and summer camps that killing Jews and Israelis is justified. The IDF wrote in a post on X, terrorism is not innate, it is learned. Military officials told Fox News, Hamas runs summer camps where children are trained to fire weapons, fight against tanks, and kidnap soldiers. The terrorist group reportedly has them prepared for tunnel combat as well. Kids hide explosives and deliver them to Hamas operatives who ambush Israeli soldiers. Now, these images put out by the Israeli government come at a pivotal time in the war. Hamas claims Israeli forces assassinated senior official and founding member Saleh al arori in Beirut. Israel isn't commenting on reports that carried out the killing. But one official's latest remarks are the strongest indication they may be behind it. A day after the strike, Israel's Mossad intelligence service vowed to hunt down every Hamas leader involved in the October 7th massacre. If Israel is behind the assassination, the strike, which occurred in Hezbollah's southern Beirut stronghold, could lead to an all-out war on Lebanon's border. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah promised revenge, saying al arouris killing will not go without response and without punishment. He also said Hezbollah has been careful in its strategy and conflict, balancing the need to support Gaza and take into account Lebanese national interest. But if the Israelis launch a war in Lebanon, the group is ready for a fight without limits. The escalation may already be there. The Israeli military released footage Thursday showing military strikes on Hezbollah. The IDF said a number of launches from Lebanon toward Israel were identified. In response, Israel took out a Hezbollah observation post and an anti-tank missile terrorist cell in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah announced fighters attacked 11 Israeli posts along the border. The rising tension comes as Israeli defense forces shift their strategy in Gaza with a reduction in troops. Five brigades consisting of several thousand troops are withdrawing from the Strip in the coming weeks. A senior advisor to Israel's prime minister's office said the reductions are important to rotate troops in what is expected to be a long war. The change in approach is after the U.S. officials traveled to Israel last month to push Israel to scale down the fighting after more than 20,000 Gazans died, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. Israeli officials say the war will likely last throughout 2024, but in lower intensity. The IDF spokesperson said they are prepared to completely defeat Hamas.